top story, Soviet President Mikhail Gorbachev has been removed from power, and there are tanks in the streets of Moscow. This was a vast country with a history of hockey. We couldn't believe that one of the greatest teams was on the verge of extinction. Now an American team has a stake in Russian hockey, rescuing an entire sport from thin ice. It's complete chaos. Trust me, I'll make you a good capitalist. <laughs> the Red Army team is 50% owned by the Pittsburgh Penguin and a group of investors that includes movie and TV star Michael J. Fox. And you called them what? Uh, well, they're called the Russian Penguins. At the beginning, we didn't understand the risk. We didn't understand what the country was like. I had the special talent of creating a firestorm inside arenas. Stevie figured, well, these strippers would make great cheerleaders. We just did whatever the hell we wanted there. People wanted to see the freak show, so they came. It's becoming the hottest ticket in Moscow. The U.S.-Russian partnership was going to be the model for the future. And that's how Disney got involved. Oh, boy, I'm going to be rich. Did you get a bad feeling? Yes, it got dangerous. When people are doing serious business, they show different sides of their characters. This is the mob. They had two ways of controlling people, greed and fear. Everybody had bodyguards. And in walks the general. And all of a sudden he takes his fist. I think this guy might be hitting me. It's hard to be in love with somebody that's trying to kill you all the time. <laughs> Wild days. Well, as you know, there's no rules in Russia. That's our slogan.